Hello everybody and welcome to our class video about the exterior angle theorem. Our learning goal is that you'll be able to describe and apply the exterior angle theorem to triangles. Okay, so to introduce the idea of the exterior angle theorem, I'm going to start off with an example. So which angle in this picture is the exterior angle? Well, I hope you're thinking it's angle 1. Yep, indeed it is. Exterior means outside, and angle 1 is on the outside of the triangle. Now, how was angle 1 formed? Well, it was made by extending one of the other sides of the triangle. Okay, so let's use the knowledge that we have to figure out the measure of angle 1. So, I know the angles inside the triangle add up to 180, so... If I add 80 and 40, see that's 120, and I subtract that from 180, then I would get the, me the measure of the remaining angle inside. That's 60. Okay, so the measure of this angle is 60 degrees. So how would I get the measure of angle 1? Well, you probably noticed that those two angles are supplementary because they're a linear pair. So therefore, to find the measure of angle 1, I could subtract... 60 from 180. That would give me 120. Okay, so the measure of angle 1 is 120 degrees. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But, wait a sec. Isn't there a shorter way to do this? So, we just said that the measure of angle 1 is 120 degrees. How does that relate to the 80 and the 40? What's the relationship? Well, hmm, you probably noticed that if you add the 80 and the 40, that would give you the 120. Hmm. I wonder if this always works. Going back to our original example, notice that we got the 120, by adding these two angles together. We subtracted that 120 from 180 to get 60. But then we turn back around and we subtracted the 60 from 180 again to get the 120 back. So no point in doing that extra work, right? So these two steps here basically undid each other. So, all right. We'll call this a shortcut. That's the exterior angle theorem. So, now, in more formal terms, okay, in, take, we'll take a look at the bottom picture here, okay, we will say that we need to give a kind of different name for those so we can talk about them. All right, we're going to call those remote interior angles. So, why would I call it remote? Well, because notice they're far away from the exterior angle, which is over here. Okay, just kind of like you use a remote control to control your TV because you control it from far away. That's the meaning of remote. Alright, so we can just summarize the exterior angle theorem like this. The measure of the exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interior angles. Notice I'm not using formal geometry notation here. This is just an easy way to summarize the exterior angle theorem. Another way that we could say it using the letters in the diagram is that A plus B is going to be equal to the exterior angle, which is D. Okay, so there we go. That's not too hard to understand, right? Okay, so let's apply it to an example. So, in this example two, we're tasked to find the measure of angle ACD. Hmm, how can we do that? Well, if we apply the exterior angle theorem, we know that those two angles, the remote interior angles, have to add up to be the exterior angle. So I can write an equation to solve for x. So I could say x plus 80 is equal to 5x minus 20. Okay, now I just need to 
solve for x. So if I subtract x from both sides and I'll simultaneously add 20 to both sides, that would give me 100 on the left side and 4x on the right side. If I divide both sides by 4, I would now have a value for x of 25. All right? But I'm not done. I need to find the measure of angle ACD. So plugging that in, I would have 5 times 25 minus 20. 5 times 25 is 125. Subtract 20, 105 degrees. So the measure of angle ACD is equal to 105 degrees. All right? So that's it. I will see you guys in class and we'll practice this a little more.